All right, love to my gooners, gooner rats and gooner babies. God damn, it's getting hot in her. So take off all your clothes. God damn it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Scan that code right there. Take it to the IG. Wherever you're watching from, I beg you, please make sure you like and subscribe. Need it. We're heading to 500 and we're going to that 1K. Need it. I'm going to say every video, need the love. So please share it. Like it. Share it. We're building. All right, let's get into this one here today. What's going on in this art in this article? So I can you get out. Arsenal chief Edu opens up on the unpopular transfers and reveals three factors which killed a Arsenal player's Ars, Arsenal player's gunner's career. Here we go. Edu Edu believes a series of unpopular decisions have transferred Arsenal from pretenders to champions contend championship contenders. The Gunner squad has undergone a massive facelift since the former midfielder was appointed the club's technical director in July 2019. There you go, right there, there. There you go, right there, there. <clears throat> he was promoted to sporting director in November 2022 and sub is the word ah and whatever <laughs> and then took more than a hands-on role with the with the comings and goings at the club the former fan favorite like Ozil and Abamyang have all departed the Emirates since Edu was appointed sporting director Arsenal's um, fortunes on the pitch have just simultaneously improved since the Brazilian has been at the helm of the transfer ship with the club narrowly missing out on the Premier title in the last two seasons, and Edu believes that there has been a correlation between the club's uptake in recent years and the clearing of dead wood. He told he told the Men in Blazers podcast, when you live in football world, sometimes you have to make decisions. Sim sometimes you have to make decisions simple, and sometimes you have to make decisions even if it's not popular. You have to you have to be very strong on your ideas, what you believe, what is good for the club and what is good for the future of the club. For me, there is for me, there are some elements in football which I always give a lot of attention. When I joined, I looked at the squad's balance, the positions and the age of the group. Look at him, he just knows his thing. There are three elements that you have to really and you have to really be really you have to be really aware of first of all we have to see the age of the player then you have to see the salary of the player and third you have to see the the performance of the player if you have a player over 26 or 27 years old um you need attention you need attention you need attention if his salary is high you need attention and if he is not performing and if he is not performing you are dead. God damn. Just went there straight. <laughs> Let's come back. If you have a player 27 years old or 28 on a big salary, but he is performing, you can accept that. What you cannot accept is if you have those three elements and the player is over 28, you start to become uncomfortable and it is better for you to move them on because maybe this player is blocking someone younger, an asset that you could help, an asset that could help you. Um... Next up, he says, when I came to Arsenal, I saw I saw all the squad with respect. Almost everyone was over 26, 27 on big salaries and not performing. If you have lots, if you have those three elements, which clubs in the world wants to come here and buy one of our players, no one. So how do you deal with that situation? You have to be strong and sometimes you have to make and you have to make decisions. You can you can go strong and try and let those players go at. Or your project is going to take what you can go strong and try. You can go strong and try to let those players go or your project is going to take. I don't know what that means. Or your your project is going to take instead of three or four years. Uh, OK, maybe seven to eight or nine. Edu continued. Then unpopular decisions started to come because most of the players that have those elements <clears throat> have a fan base and the media that love them. But for the club, it is not healthy. But for the club, it is not healthy sometimes to keep the player in that situation. When I started, I saw every player in the squad and those three characteristics. Then I said, guys, we have to clean this squad with all my respect. With, with all my respect to build a new foundation here. From the foundation, we need to sign young players on lower salaries with better with better futures who are hungry to take us where we want to go. Edu would have played a key role in Arsenal's um, two signings of the summer, the permanent 
the permanent signing of David Rea from Brentford and the 42 arrival of Ricardo Calavoglia from Bologna. Um, Arsenal kick off the Premier League campaign this week on Saturday, welcoming Wolves to the Emirates. Yeah, man. Well, not, nothing shocking there. I just wanted to to have boss man up there. You gonna dig me because he he's showing himself, blood. He's showing himself, and I and I like that. You know what I'm saying? When I felt, I was like, oh, don't know, you know, don't know, you know. But again, that kind of shit, that kind of mindset, my kind of doubt comes from I'm judging him as a player. You have to scratch that. You have to scratch that. And same way people think, but because I've clocked this from time ago, people think, oh, because someone's a great player, that means that they can transfer that into being the manager, being um, sport director, being owner even. Nope. Nope. Scratch all that. If that's what you're thinking, scratch all of that. It sounds good. It sounds good. Even if it's not even your sport bubble. If you was to hear Michael Jordan is buying your club, you'd be like, Rah! Oh my day, because of the brand Jordan. But you're forgetting that the brand Jordan, no disrespect. I'm sure he's got fingers in different pies. It's the trainers. It's him playing ball slash baseball and trainers. Why would you, the reason why you would associate that as winning is because it was done well. So would you get, would you get excited if, um, I want to say Frank and Benny's. That's not that's not the name of the ice cream. I can't remember the name of the fucking ice cream now, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Tango. Is it Coca-Cola that owns these, man? I'm sure it's on the can somewhere. What they know about sport, they know how to put their brand on a sport event. They know how to sponsor a sport. They don't know nothing about this thing. So why would you get excited? That's what I'm saying. People like to put two and two together and get 50 billion. No, calm yourself down it'll be probably better to get people who studied this. Even if they were players, you see that they're taking the steps to be in a whole different game. You know what I'm saying? Being on the pitch and being upstairs is two different things. It's not the same. You know what I mean? Just because you can make a good pass don't mean that you know how to make a good transfer. Don't know you, you can do good transfer deals. You don't know that you know how to pay the bills right. That doesn't mean nothing. You could be great at football and whatless with finance. That means you're going to bring your damn club down. That's why big up Edu each and every time. Stay up there, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Got a brethren. You guys know him. Well, you should know him. MC50, he normally does bar level with me. He is a big, big fan of Burt Camp, right? And Henri. But he always stresses that clubs should do it basically like Ajax. Right now, as far as I know, it's like the, the former, especially I just read Burt Camp's book, which is over there. All the former players are like in charge, are in the big spots. They're in charge. Then it's Burke Camp, you know what I'm saying? Not others who you would think, you know what I mean? Not like Edgar David Sadoff and that, but there's others from past generations of excellence of Ajax that are in charge, you know what I'm saying? And right now, the two names that ring bell in Arsenal is Edu and Arteta, you know what I mean? And they both played. So it's a good look. You know what I'm saying? It's a good look. Wouldn't say boo to having Dennis come join that. Because I've read in his book, he ain't in our management and all them thing there. He liked doing what he do. And even more so, if he could skip it down a bit and just focus on strikers, he'd like to do that. What? What? Are you mad? Stan and, and Josh, higher bird camp blood. But, you know, he's probably love, love is with Ajax. That's where he born from. You get me? I ain't never going to take that from him. But after Ajax, it's us. So if you can get him, get him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you see what Henri did with the fucking Olympic team with the French team. I know they ain't win it, but they got close. Henri, blood, go get Henri. But again, these men up would be good for coaching. You know what I mean? Maybe not management. We got Teta, but coaching. Go and get them man there. Go get Soul Campbell, blood. You under dig me? Go get them man there. Get them man to talk with the other coaches, like the free kick coaches and that. Gel blood. Go get Seaman and our goalkeeper coach is nice, but get them man there to work, blood. You get me? It's just a little advice here and there. You're not saying these men are in charge. You get me? We have a goalkeeper coach, but we've got Seaman, David Seaman. you got to say it like that. David Seaman, he's here too to be giving tips and things. So after your coach tells you what he wants to see, you do that. You know what I'm saying? Your coach might walk away and go and talk to another goalkeeper. And then David walk in. Ah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Coach is right, but 
da, 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 da. and then they give you an example. Remember that time when I was playing against Stoke, that reach, da, da, all that. That's beautiful. That's what you need. But you can't get too carried away because that's what a lot of people do. Hence, no disrespect. Look at Rooney right now. That he ain't a manager. No disrespect. No disrespect. He could go buy a club if he wanted to, probably. But from what it's seen, you ain't a manager. You get me? Frank, you ain't a manager. No disrespect. Stevie, it's looking like you ain't a manager. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look like it. You man are good at playing. Louder thing, bruv. Louder thing. Allow it. But I'm out of there, people. You let me know down below what you're saying, what you're talking about. Stay good. Stay blessed. Greener on the sofa. The pride of North London. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.